もう嘘を一服差し上げます
とまずしまわせていただきます。
So the tea caddy that I have chosen for today was made by a lacquer artist whose name is Nida Yoshiakira and it depicts in uh, gold paint and gold leaf the house crest of the Kobori family um, who is well, which is the family of the founder of the Enshu school and this crest this called Hanabishi uh, Shippo, which is a, um, a house crest depicting this Hanabishi, this, um, f these flower petals and it is a very common motif in the Enshu tradition of tea. The tea scoop I have chosen to go with a copy, a contemporary copy of a tea scoop that was carved by the founder of the Enshu school, Kobori Enshu himself the name of that tea scoop was Arimayama and this copy was named Yamagumo. Arimayama is a famous mountain uh, in the surroundings of Kyoto where there are also onsens and various springs, hot springs and Enshu happened to frequent those springs um, and he found a piece of bamboo from which he carved the um, original of this tea scoop. The uh, name Yamagumo is a pun or an allusion to the Arima mountain. Um, it means the cloud over the mountain. So it's a cloud hanging over the mountain with um, this being a copy and not a uh, perfect replica of the original, neither being the original itself. The name uh, was given in the inscription on the box uh, was given by the previous headmaster of the Kohoan uh, in Daitokuji Temple. Kohoan is a uh, sub-complex within the Daitokuji complex and it is the ancestral temple of the, Kombo, uh, the Kobori family. So there's a strong connection between the person who carved and who inscribed the tube and the box for this tea scoop and the Kobori family and there's also the founder Kobori Enshu himself.
お退屈様でございましたIt reads, Take ni joge no fushi ari. And it translates as on a bamboo pole, on a bamboo tree,、um, there are nodes as well on the upper parts as on the lower parts. There are nodes divided evenly over the length of the stem of the bamboo. And it is an allusion to the balance in life that we have to maintain the yin and the yang. The,、um, there's always a twofold of things, and even on a bamboo stem, there are nodes on the upper parts. And on the lower parts. There can be only nodes on the upper parts and none on the lower parts, and vice versa would mean the same. So it is an,、um, a pun or an,、uh, an allusion, I'd rather say, to in life there is the good and the bad. There's not only the good,、um, we can't only look for the good or at the good. The good goes hand in hand with the bad. The nodes on the upper parts of the stem go hand in hand with the nodes on the lower parts of the stem.、Um, we need this balance, and it's all about the balance. And so, this is kind of a wake up call saying, well, using a very common, ordinary thing,、um, but still saying this. Is the truth of our existence. There is good, there is bad, there is left, there is right, there is up, there is down, there is you, there is me. There, is all, there are all these distinctions, but these distinctions make part of one larger whole, and without one, the other cannot exist. So there always needs to be this twofold. And I think it's a very important lesson again to learn and to take away. In the times that we are going through,、um, there is always the necessity for good balance. There can't be more of the other, because if there's more of the other, then there's less of the,、um, the other one, and it will actually destroy both sides. So let's keep in mind that even on a bamboo stem, there are nodes on the upper parts as well as on the lower parts. And for the flowers, I have chosen some fresh looking flowers. It's very early in the year, but I feel it's already starting to go towards spring. And so I also wanted to bring a little bit of a、uh, spring feel, a bit of spring atmosphere in the tea chamber.、Um, it's,、uh, the, the flower arrangement is placed in an old bronze arrangement. And then to move closer to the、uh, The temaiza, the preparation area. I have focused this time on trying to, as good as possible, give an expression of what an Enshu style、uh, tea gathering or a tea、uh, arrangement would look like.、Uh, the utensils I have chosen、uh, contain motifs that are favored by the Enshu school, for example, the Uh, the tana, the shelf structure that I chose to put the misasashi, the cold water vessel, on. That one is an,、uh, a type of tana that is common in the Enshu school because it uses、uh, at least three different types of wood. There's kurogaki, black persimmon, there is matsu, there's pine,、um, and one other. Uh, wood of which I forgot the name at the moment. 
Um, so, but these are also very beautifully carved out with the motif that is was also on the tea caddy, um, the Hanabishi Shippo, these flower petals that are uh, indicative as the house crest of the Kobori family. Then next for the Futaoki, I chose to go with uh, Mubyo. Mubyo is um, six gourds. The gourd was also a motif that um, Enshu, the founder of the Enshu tradition, Kobori Enshu, um, very much liked next to this um, this flower petal uh, Hanabishimon uh, house crest and Mubio is in Japanese uh, it, it's the same pronunciation only the characters are different for Mubio which means without sickness without disease so this again is a pun a word play six gourds basically being the same pronunciation, the same words as um, no disease. So it is in the same time a wish for a healthy life and um, to be without disease. So this was also a very suitable theme for this, uh, this period, this time. Then for the Mizusashi, the cold water vessel, I have chosen to go with a Takatori Mizusashi, which has a round base and the top is uh, square. These uh, differences in shapes are also something that is rather appreciated in the Enshu tradition. And also Takatori is one of the seven kilns that Enshu himself uh, guided and instructed as in regards to pottery and has since the, the time of the founder been recognized as one of the kilns that the Enshu tradition uses for its earthenware. It's glossy, it's got a glossy glaze, the colors are mostly subdued and it's very light and very thin. On the sides it also has these uh, ears which are, which are an, uh, a nice form of decoration. Then for the tea bowl I chose the Shigaraki piece from Nishio uh, Kosen, who is uh, active in the Shigaraki area. And he makes copies of several traditional tea bowls. And this one was a copy of a tea bowl called uh, Tatsuta. And it's in the motif of an, um, well, of the, the, the head on a persimmon. The persimmon always has these leaves on, um, on, on the top of them. Um, it's for the color, for the shape, in similarity to that. Uh, Kaki no Heta. Um, the name of the original tea bowl is Tatsuta. And so it's a copy of that uh, bowl. This also is a very Enshu like bowl, I feel, um, because most of the, the bowls that we use in the Enshu tradition are rather subdued. Uh, very subtle and have these um, minor shape differences, um, little details. Uh, we, for example, like to make, for example, a bowl straight on the front and then round in the back. So pushing the front a bit back or there's a dimple that's created by the thumb in the front. Um, there might be a little bit of a cutout. So the shapes are also always um, slightly refined and somewhat uh, unique opposed to what other schools like to use. So I see this very subdued, very um, calm, also lightweight, very th uh, thin on the edges uh, bowl as an, uh, a typical Enshu style bowl. And so then I have um, concluded the uh, setup, the arrangement with two other items that also reflect a lot of what the Enshu, Enshu tradition is like. Um, the tea caddy, which um, had the motif of the Hanabishi house crest of the Kobori family in a very beautiful uh, lacquered and gold work. And then uh, the tea scoop, which was uh, given a name and an inscription on the box and the tube for the tea scoop by the previous uh, headmaster of the Kohoan temple in the Daitokoji complex, which is the ancestral temple of the Kobori family. The piece was a copy 
of a tea scoop called Arimayama that was crafted by Enshu himself and this contemporary copy is an, uh, a copy of that tea scoop but has a name that is uh, an allusion to that original tea scoop's name um, it's Yamagumo the mountain cloud so I hope you enjoyed today's tea ceremony um, I'm very happy that I've again been able to share this with you and I've also tried to give a bit more information about the utensils that I've chosen uh, it's very fun for me as well to be able to choose a theme choose a few things to talk about and share that information then after the gathering with you as well so I hope to continue doing this more in the future and in the meantime I will um, leave you here if you want to be updated of more videos um, click the subscribe button also click the bell so that you get notified of new updates and I will be happy to seeing you in another video again soon thank you for watching